Let's break down why these numbers are too crazy. It's just, it's not making sense right now to me. It's not, let's, let's dive into things here. Hello, beautiful people, Captain Zach Sparrow. The weekend is here. It is, what, Sunday? Is that when I'm uploading this? I hope you're having a great weekend. Let's talk about these crazy price spikes. They are spikes. And it's driven by speculative demand right now because we're not seeing this movement across the entirety of the Japanese market or even the English market. It's all in a bunch of specific modern cards. And again, you're not seeing this same level of demand hitting retro vintage cards. We've broken this down in a lot of videos now, so I don't want to repeat myself as much in this video. So if you are interested in that, feel free to watch a different video. But I wanted to highlight these Pikachu stamp beauty look at what's we'll called the beauty looking back promo card in particular, the one with Pikachu. There are over 6,300 something of these in a PSA 10. They're extremely easy to grade at a 92% something, 93%, somewhere around there, 92, 93% clip. You'll get a PSA 10. Wowzers, that's a really easy, easily gradable card in a PSA 10. Let's compare this card to something else, not super old, but a little bit older now. Let's look at the Munch promo cards. Let's Right now, let's look at the Pikachu one, for example. So the Pikachu card, that particular card has, what was it? 2,000 and 200-ish PSA 10s. That one's also easy to grade, around 82% PSA 10 chance. So that's an easy card to grade, but there are multiple of these Munch promos. So you've got thousands of these Pikachus, so 2,200 of these. You've got almost 1,000 PSA 10s of the Mimikyus, and those have almost doubled in price as well. They're going over for $8,000 recently. They were trading in the, they were trending in the $4,000 range. But let's, let's, let's jump back to the Pikachu real quick. So let's, let's really, let's, let's unpack this here today. So I want, I want people to understand how I'm looking at this here. And again, I, I know the market is not looking at this in this particular way, which I, I believe the market is sorely wrong on this, at least from this angle. Yes, there's a plethora of reasons why, hey man, demand doesn't care what you think. Absolutely. And, and let's unpack that as well. So for these Pikachu cards, the, well, which Pikachu card? The Munch ones. Let's talk about Pikachu Munch. Those cards right there, they're easy to grade, check. Same thing with the beauty looking back card. Okay, there are there are thousands of them, tw only, only 2,200, but there are still thousands of them, so it's populous and it's popular, okay. The market cap is extremely heavy for both of these cards, and what do I mean by that? There's so much money plowed into these cards right now, more than almost any other cards, almost any other cards. There, there's more money plowed into these cards, so it's already extremely popular, no doubt about that. My question for you is, and what you need to think, not just what you think, but what do we think the market sentiment as a whole thinks about both of these cards, just in particular, to, to compare to compare these guys to each other. So again, let's think about how much does someone want the Pikachu beauty looking. I keep I keep saying Pikachu. The the beauty looking back card. How much do people want that card compared to how much does someone want a Pikachu Munch Scream promo? I know this is just me. I personally would prefer the Munch Scream promo. I, if I had to guess, I would think the majority of people would prefer the Munch Scream promo. I could be wrong. Uh, you know, art is subjective, beauty is subjective. What's not subjective is the questionable quality of this channel though. So if I am right on that, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. I haven't done that before. That was a smooth plug. I think that does deserve a thumbs up. Watch, this, this is going to be my most disliked video now. But it doesn't matter because YouTube censored that, so you won't even know it's my most disliked video. Only I know that information. Isn't that something? The world we live in now? As, aside from us getting more and more... Well, uh, I, I, I'm not going to go into that route today. Uh, but uh, yeah, let, let, let's look back at the beauty looking back uh, promos here. These cards were trending around $400 just last month. They were trending around that $400 price point in the PSA 10, and now you're looking at 
over nine, I just saw a card sell for $900. Not a PSA 10 of the beauty looking back for over $900. So you're looking at over a 2X in price over this time. That's a whopping return on your investment. That's awesome for the people who bought in earlier who or who already had this card. Great. However, do I think a lot of buying right now is purely speculative? Absolutely. People don't know what they're basing this off of. What is your downside risk on this card? Oh, gee, I don't know what we were seeing literally just a month ago. Zach, do you think we'll see those prices ever again? Truly? I don't know. And neither do you. So why are we buying this card when it's over 2x right now? When I believe what we'll see, because I, I have history to point to, how, how many people were looking at the shiny Charizard VMAX? How many people were looking at the Vivid Voltage Pikachus? How much of that did we see absolute price spikes just out of this world? We're going to the moon and then it got shot down and we crashed real hard. We still got the scars to prove it. I've got a really ugly kneecap because of that now. It was a tragic accident. I had to see a therapist because of all that. That's where we're at right now. We're, we're, in, we're in that zone. We're going to the moon though. I don't know about you, but I don't like buying tickets on a journey to the moon if we're already halfway there. Now, could it continue mooning? Totally. Could we also see an aggressive pullback? Totally. Is it incredibly speculative? And is it fun to just talk about and think about and analyze? Yeah, absolutely. That's why I'm making this silly video here. Am I still recording? I'm still recording, we're good. I don't know if I'm gonna edit this video today and that's why I'm really excited. Uh, I'm, I'm buying a new camera so I can actually not have to worry about how much storage is on my phone anymore. And, oh, I can't wait for all of that. But those beauty looking back cards, $400 a month ago, over $900 now. Crazy, too insane in my opinion. And now, now do I think we'll, we'll maybe see higher highs and higher lows than what we've previously seen? Quite possibly. Uh, we might not ever see those $400 price points again, but it could be wrong and the market could overcorrect and that could be an opportunity too. And we'll discuss this on the, the channel too if I, if I don't happen to miss it at that time. There's so many cards and sets to, to think of to look. Am I looking on the English side? Am I looking at the Japanese side? Am I looking at the new Chinese products that are coming out? So there are a lot of angles that you can look at in this hobby. So if you guys see something, definitely let me know as well. But so that's what we're looking at on this uh, beauty looking back side. Let's take a jump back over to the Pikachu Munch side now. So that card was comfortably trending around the thousands of dollars point in a PSA 10. So you're looking at well over $2,000 a card uh, in a PSA 10 for those uh, munchy munches. Now you're looking at over double that as well. So the here's the, the ultimate kicker. The beauty looking back there are over 6,300 copies in a PSA 10. There's only 2,200 of the Pikachu munches. So if we look at that there, let's just say for easy math, quick maths, we're looking at about a 3x difference on the PSA 10s, assuming we don't see more of these beauty looking backs uh, in, in the future, or I guess the, the Pikachu munches as well, although I don't believe we'll see as many of those stir up as we are with these beauty looking back promos. So you're looking at about a 3x difference there. Well, Zach, should we uh, experience a 3x difference in price? No, not necessarily. The, the part that we have nailed down, so to speak, we have a, a pretty decent idea, at least, of the supply side of these cards. That's awesome. That's only half the equation. So now there's the demand side, which is why I brought it up in the beginning of the video, which is more important, in my opinion, because we never know what that's going to be. And it is... It is driven by hype a lot of times. So we, we have to keep that in consideration when we're looking at these cards, which would be, all right, do I think that this particular beauty looking back card, do I think that this will be at least three times as popular as this Pikachu Munch promo card? Do I think it will be at least three times as popular knowing that there's three times the supply on the PSA 10 side. Is that what we're realistically looking at? Do I think it's three times as popular? That I'm gonna have to pull my BS card out or I'm gonna have to press the, the what is it? It's like the big blue doubt button. Is that the X button? I forget. You know what me, what I'm talking about. That, I'm gonna have to press doubt on that. 
that's where I'm at. Now, do I think that there's a chance that the Beauty Looking Back promo card just could simply be more popular than the Pikachu Munch promo? Yes, I could see that, but do I see it being, do, but do I see demand consistently staying over a lengthy period of time to make it a decent investment vehicle? Do I see that demand being driven by 3X or more? Uh, I don't like that. So all this being said, do I think either of these are good buying opportunities right now? No, I'm not buying any of these cards that have just 2X'd or 3X or what or 5X or whatever. I, I am not parking any money into these cards currently. I am watching them very close. Another card I was looking at was the uh, Kanazawa Pikachu, the uh, Hollow. That particular card, I thought I saw a buying opportunity and your boy missed the boat, but that was also about a month ago. Oh, gee. Everything on the Japanese side happens to be stonking really hard as of about a month ago. Weird. Wow, what a great play that would have been, Zach. Well, sure, yeah, hindsight's 2020, right? So I, I, I'm just sharing, like, what I'm looking at here. I, I don't have, like, a glaring takeaway other than, no, I'm not parking my money into something that's gone up 2, 3x. That's the definition of insanity, in my opinion, if you don't have any other grounds on it, other than saying, because price gone up, bro. I'm going to need a little bit more data than that, my dude, my guy, my brethren. Do people say that? That's it. That's how I'm looking at these cards. I think it's insane right now. I think it's a ton of fun to be looking at this, but do we think this is going to impact LeBron's legacy? I don't think so at all. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe. And I, 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 I've been encouraged to, to not tell you sub, to subscribe and watch another video, but I'm I was told to tell you a specific video that you should watch, but I also trust YouTube's algorithm to give you an exact video to click on. So click on that exact video, please and spank you.